But all they are right now, words on a whiteboard. Um, so obviously this week, uh, Sir Doug Nichols round, um, obviously played over two weeks, uh, fantastic, fantastic opportunity to, to further educate ourselves um, and, and bringing Indigenous culture uh, and bringing everyone together really. Um, we spoke yesterday, the one to four year players, uh, about the importance of family, it's up on, uh, up on the wall here, the importance of kinship um, and, our, and our responsibility as a footy club. We are, uh, we are a family. We, we, we've got to have this kingship here. We're going to games where uh, you've got your brothers back, all right? You can tell Mont, Mont's got a jumper on there. It's a, a program that we started this year. Uh, so we give Indigenous youth in Western Sydney opportunity to play footy um, here at the club. So I do one night a week for a couple of weeks, uh, making more footy more accessible, uh, which, which isn't the case for, for some of them. A significant parts of the Aboriginal community because it is the flag that represents them. It's going to be pretty special because I'm friends with Connor Hyden. He's come to my football club two years in a row. And he's a really nice guy, and I really want to see him in my boots. Well, I'm a Barkindji person, and Barker means the river, and Barkindji means the people of the river, and I've incorporated the river into my design. Hi, my name is Xavier. I'm 12 years old and I'm a proud Wiradjuri and Gadigal boy. I named my boot a journey of a giant and, it rep and the black part represents how Toby Bedford has grown up in Fitzroy Crossing and I incorporated the stars which represents the, his ancestors walking before him. Oh, it's, it's going to make me so proud like I love my boots and like it's going to make me so proud that he's actually going to be wearing my boots. How you going, mate? We're just um, Tuesday down here on Sir Dog Nichols week. Um, we're down here getting a photo shoot for the jumper. Um, getting an indigenous flag in it as well, as well as my boots that were painted this week by um, a young indigenous boy from this region. Um, young Xavier, he's done an unbelievable job. In it, so, um, but yeah, really exciting for the, for the club and really exciting week for myself and my fam and all the other indigenous players. So. Um, you see the photos come out, they look pretty good, so, yeah. Yeah, it's so cool. It's good, eh? I like it. It was truly... Yeah. Seen it here first. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, 150 games, mate. Well done. So it's been a, a, a long and hard road for you at times. So to be able to overcome what you've overcome, not many could be able to say that. Indigenous round, obviously really, really special round, this one to be a part of. So we're aware of who, who this young fella is. So you mentioned family a lot. And I'm going to throw this on you a little bit. So your family obviously is really important. And we see some there. So since you've got to the Giants, you've, you've formed a, another family, this family. You know, when we all we do is basically spend time together, you realise how strong our bonds are. Um, and then I think it just makes playing football that much better with each other and winning um, makes it that much better. So I, I loved every moment, moment with the boys and um, you know, I feel like when we're up and about, we, we play for each other as well. We're representing Toby tomorrow. Let's play the right way. Let's play like Toby. Let's do him proud. He walks off the ground proud tomorrow, but we have fun doing it. This is a game, a game that I think we all love to play.
and Metropolitan Local Lecture League Council, our members and elders, would like to welcome everyone here to this land of the Wongal Clan. Let's all work, walk together for better outcomes on this journey we call reconciliation. We can always do better, look at the person in the mirror, and a better world starts with the person you see in the mirror every day. Thank you. Always was, always will be Aboriginal land ever seen it. Thanks. Just about set to go, English and Briggs, two very different ruckmen, so with the conditions it's thrown up to get things underway. Eugle Hagen to the square, Norton had his way with Buckley, couldn't finish it. Buckley, the goalkeeper once, where he's going to put it, he was precise in his delivery, Toby Green, when you need a goal, who else do you turn to but Toby Green? He has been accurate of late. The Bulldogs fans can celebrate now. Nothing's going to stop them recording a very, very big win. The siren sounds. A win of significance for the Western Bulldogs. One of the Premiership fancies. They have just one win in their last five contests. So we've got the blueprint, we've got the answers, but all they are right now, words on a whiteboard, because we're not really prepared to dig in and action yet. But we'll find the ones who will. We'll find the ones who will. And we'll return to where I think we, we can be and should be. And that's why I'm going to this You know what the positive out of tonight is? Anyone? Uh, next week. And? The next week. And the next week. We've still got 13 games to get this right. We've got 13 games to get this right. Okay? We've got to start doing something about it now. <laughs> Alright. And that comes down to what we do Monday to Friday. How well we've been, how well we've come, how well do we work, how we edges. And then come game day, are we predictable to one another? Are we reliable? Are you a great teammate? This time of year, like obviously we want to be taking the wins, but we plan on playing our best footy when it matters the most. So. They're big on believing in that, and I'm sure it'll turn around big. Stay positive. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, there's uh, no point feeling sorry for yourself.